Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of the UCS Genosis Diorama series. I hope you guys are enjoying. It's been a little over a month since the last episode. I think I actually made it before Brick Fair, and since then I've been able to get a decent amount of stuff done, and I can happily say that this series will be three episodes long. So this is the second one, there'll be one more coming out in the next few weeks. And then we'll be done. Now, as a quick refresher, if you guys don't know what we're doing here, I would say just watching episode one. I'll leave a link down below in the description. But essentially, we're building a mini landscape to accommodate the UCS gunship. And last episode, we got done the border, the size of everything, getting the dimensions right, and of course, planting the UCS gunship in there. That way, we can get all of our proportions right in the mock. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys what we did both through time lapses of my own building and even building in progress. I got done on my members' call, which are paying members of the channel who I was able to build Genos us with talk to them have a super good time you guys can probably see behind me this thing looks a lot different than you might remember from episode one there's a lot of stuff we got to get into so of course if you guys are excited drop a like down below make sure you subscribe pretty much what we got done is we started doing the landscape and honestly that's kind of the only thing we have to do for the entirety of the display i've always been saying that the gunship is the centerpiece and the landscape is just something to accommodate it make it look a little more epic and interesting and hopefully from back behind me you guys can see we got a lot of stuff done so let's go ahead and show you guys what we got done for episode two of the ucs genosis diorama series all right we are starting episode two of the genosis mini series here for the gunship with some packages i've actually had these for quite a while and I've had them actually since before Brick Fair but now we're finally getting around to opening them. Now these parts should be everything I need to actually complete the entirety of the Genosis. Like I've said many times we're not going super detail it's just going to be some fun stuff for us. So in the first package here we do have some more medium nougat and some dark orange pieces. Notably we have a lot of these slopes which is going to add some extra nice uh, terrain different elevations and everything like that. We have some one by one tiles and medium nougat as well. The medium nougat and the tan actually go together very very well and i'm actually really interested to see how that looks um, when we do get that so we got a bunch of wedge plates and also one last notable thing here is i think i ordered actually two more of these star wars logos because these are actually going to go around the mock this next package here is going to be from blaine's world i got to give a huge thanks to blaine my boy always, always hooking it up always coming in clutch uh, with the parts for mock so i'll leave links down below to his brick link store if you guys want to check them out we got a lot of stuff from him i think we got a lot of bricks too which is going to be very helpful so of course we got some one by threes one by twos we got some bricks some plates some wedges which is always uh, gonna be super helpful. As always, the order comes with a sticker and a great awesome card here. So great customer service from Blaine's World. And then in this last bag here, we have uh, some tile, we have some jumper plates, some longer two by four tiles, some crib slopes and uh, stuff like that. And then the last one here is actually gonna be from Brixolato, another sponsor of Empire Logs. I was able to get a discount off of this. Huge thanks to Brixolato. I've mentioned them a couple of times before here on the channel. It looks like we got one, yeah, one big bag here of just a bunch of pieces. I'll take everything out here so I can show you guys just a quick glimpse at everything we got. Now, I know when I started this, I said I wasn't gonna be spending too much money. And now thanks to, again, sponsorships and discounts, the stuff actually wasn't too crazy of a purchase price, but this should be enough that I need to get the general gist of what I'm going for. So we got a lot of medium nougat in all three of these packages. Again, that contrast with the dark orange is going to be very important if you guys don't know what I'm looking at. You check out David's Genosis pretty much for how the coloring scheme is going to go. But we got all the parts here. I'm just going to start playing around with the Genosis train. Let's get started. So after about an hour or so of just sort of getting the very initial stuff going, we actually have a pretty decent foundation. Uh, we are pretty much using a bunch of these different parts you guys just saw um, from the earlier hall section and everything like that. We're using giant plates, tiles, bricks, and stuff like that. And I'm actually really liking how this landscape is coming out. So you can see here, the back right side of the mock does have that little elevation that we're going for. And like I've been saying since we've started, I'm not looking for this mock to be anything super crazy with techniques. I'm literally just building a backdrop for the main centerpiece that is the Republic gunship. So I think we're well on our way towards that. I'd probably say we have about a third of it done already, which is really good. And we're really good on parts too. You guys might be able to see. We have a lot of parts here left. 
which is good. We're not running low on anything. I've been mixing in the medium nougat every so often. And I think it provides a really nice color breakup for the Geonosius texture, which is nice. What's actually going to happen next is the next time lapse we're going to cut to really fast is actually me working on Geonosis in my monthly members call. I do have memberships here on the channel, guys. If you want to check them out, leave a link down below. I highly suggest you guys join the Builders Club. We do awesome members calls every single month. And this time I actually built Geonosis with them live in a Discord call. So if you guys want to be a part of that, click that join button if you're under computer down for the channel or i'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out but we're going to go ahead and get to work and try and get more of this done honestly i'm not sure if this is going to be the episode two and only episode two or maybe even just the finale but who knows we'll see how, kind of how much we get done so far So after probably a combined six-ish or so hours, both on my own and in that members call, we here we have the progress for this week's Genosis episode. And I gotta say, something about the dark orange, building a Genosis that's accurate with the colors, just super refreshing. And of course, having the gunship in the middle of all, but just makes it look that much cooler. So if you guys remember last episode, there were a couple of things we hadn't started yet. Obviously we didn't start any of the terrain. There were only uh, these, basically these big uh, 16 by 16 plates that we had gotten started with, but nothing had been actually done. So first thing we did, we got more of the Star Wars 2021 uh, tiles here that are going around the entirety of the mock, which I thought was a really cool idea. And again, these tiles came in the uh, Tatooine Homestead uh, gift of purchase that was for this May the 4th. So I was able to get two more of those. So now around all four sides, we have a Lego Star Wars 2021 logo, which I think looks really, really cool. And like you guys saw earlier in the video, we did unbox a bunch of parts that's were, that were really, really important to getting a lot of stuff done for this week's episode. So you can see here with the terrain, it's not something overly complicated basically what i've been doing is making the majority of the terrain dark orange using a combined different plates tiles we have some curved slopes and then you'll also see these patches of medium nougat which definitely break up the terrain in a really nice way and the medium nougat and the orange are honestly one of the best color combinations in all of lego in terms of the color palette and also i've been using these little stem pieces just to give it that little extra deserty sort of barren wasteland type of look and i think that's coming out really really nice so of course we have some different elevation changes like here here on the side you can see here and compared to the very floor and then all the way here on the right there's about a two or three brick height difference and i think that the transition between the heights actually came out really really nice that was something i was a little bit worried about we also have some of those transitions from the hills and elevations over here as well right over here and then we'll also have some more as we continue working on the mock now of course the idea is when we get lower here we want to make sure that the black stand is covered of course but also make sure that the terrain still looks really good so i think that's going to be a big focus going into the next couple of work hours putting it into the mock of course making sure that terrain underneath the gunship looks very accurate and of course looks acceptable in terms of quality and everything like that but i think it's actually coming together really really well i'm actually really excited to just sort of have this as a display i'm thinking when it's done when the whole thing the whole mock is that i'm probably going to end up putting it over there we have a lot of my backlog stuff but hopefully a lot of that will be gone by then or if not being worked through so i think we're going to be moving this guy over to that space right over there whenever time comes but i've been really enjoying the series guys i hope you like the look of it so far let me know what you guys are thinking i think once it's done it's going to have such a cool sleek like finished look and it's just going to be a nice add-on to accompany the set that is the ucs gunship so so i honestly think everything is going according to to plan which is always great let me know what you guys are thinking that wraps up this part of today's video let's go ahead and jump to the outro so like i was saying this is going to be episode number two of a three-part series i'm hoping to actually live stream finishing or at least getting a lot of work done on the geonosis diorama at some point in the next couple of days maybe even throughout the next week or so and then making that final third episode to show you guys the final product i hope you guys are enjoying it I, honestly it's been really fun getting back to building a mock i haven't built a mock since 
I tried to start Endor back last year, almost over a year ago. So it's been a really fun experience for me. Honestly, building with Dark Orange, seeing everything in the accurate color for Geonosis with Dark Orange is really refreshing and it looks really cool. And I love the way that the orange and the white contrast, the orange of the terrain and the white of the gunship. I think that looks really, really nice. So I'm really happy uh, with what we got going so far. I think the landscape looks really, really good. And landscaping is something I've always had a little bit of a trouble with going into mocks and projects and stuff like that. So I'm happy it's actually looking really good so let me know what you guys think of course but we will see you in the next one episode three coming out in a couple weeks here so make sure you guys stay tuned with the bell icon on don't miss it and we'll see you later take it easy peace